During this tutorial, I'm going to walk you through the steps of creating a magazine cover using Big Huge Labs. Before we even go to the website, what you will need to do is make sure that you have an image saved. This is the picture that you want on your front cover, the cover of your magazine. So again, before even coming to the, this website, you want to save an image to your picture library. And this picture is the picture that you want to use for your magazine cover. I would also just kind of know what I want to write on my magazine cover, what text you'll be using also. Okay, so after you have your image and you pretty much know what you want to write on your magazine cover, go ahead and go to BigHugeLabs.com and then you're going to click on magazine cover you should be on a page that looks like this and we're going to be looking at where it says choose a photo we want to choose a file and you're going to navigate to your picture library and I created a folder and put some pictures in here so this is the picture that I want to use for my magazine cover once I have clicked on that picture go ahead and click open and you can see here the name of my picture it has been selected so now I want to go ahead and format that magazine cover, the text, and the layout. So under choose a layout, if you go ahead and click on any of these, it's going to give you, it's going to show you the sample layout right over here. So I'm going to go ahead and click on colors no logo. That's what it looks like. If you click autumn, that's the template layout for autumn and you can just keep going through all those to see what they look like. I'm going to go ahead and keep mine at blank right. It just keeps everything towards the right hand side of the cover. And for font, you can go ahead and make a selection. I'm just going to keep it on the default font. And then I'm going to give it a title. So you can see here the title and going to go ahead and use Little League and I want to bold that. I want a shadow on that text and I can give it a different color. To give it a different color just click in this box and you should see a color wheel. This will let you choose any color that you want. I'm going to go with black. Tagline is this little word right up here. Go ahead and type in whatever you want for your tagline. Again, you have the option to bold, shadow, or change the color. I'm going to go ahead and change that to a dark gray. publication date that's right down here I'm going to bold that and price and I'm going to bold that but I want to go ahead and make this color red and I want my price to be the same color as my publication date. So what I can do is just come in here and I can copy. So just highlight, control C to copy, click in here, highlight, control V to paste. So now I have the same color. If you look at the number, they're the same numbers. That means I'm going to have the same color. Okay, for line one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, all the way up to line 17, you can fill in stuff for these if you'd like. You don't have to fill in every single line. 
So I'm just going to go ahead and work my way through here. Line one, I'm just going to type in T-ball. Line two, and I want to bold that. Down here, I want to skip down to line 15. Okay, so once I have all of my information entered, and I think it looks okay, I'm going to go ahead and click Create. So what I want to do here is maybe change the color of this text here because it's kind of, it's not standing out like Little League is here. So I want to go ahead and edit this. Do not click the back button. If you do, you will lose information. You will lose content. If you want to edit your magazine cover and fix a few things, just click the edit button here. So now you can come back and change the color. So let's say I want this, say blue, and I want all of this, all of these words blue. Oops. I'm going to go ahead and copy this color number here. Control C, Control V to paste. Control V to paste. And let's say I just want black for this one. And go ahead and click Create to view it. It's better, a little bit better. I'm going to go ahead and keep it this way. Once you're happy with your magazine cover, what you need to do is click Download. It's going to automatically download here. Just click the image. Click File, Print, or you can also click the print icon here. Make sure that full page photo is selected and go ahead and print. This will print to a regular 8.5 by 11 page and you will have your magazine cover to turn in.